Okay, welcome back to Final Fantasy X, everyone. Let's go back into the temple and see if we can try to beat, or I can try to beat, um, Belgamine's version of Shiva and Bahamut. I have a feeling I probably won't be able to do it because I'm not powerful enough yet. But, you know, we can always try. I remember one of these fights has a really good reward of, like, 50 Mega Potions or something like that, which is something that you'd probably be interested in. Alright, yeah, we'll do our best. I was thinking about uh, maybe teaching... I, well, I could teach one of my Aeons Haste, but I decided against it because it will use up all 10 of my Chocobo Feathers, which is quite a lot to get Haste for an Aeon. I also thought about uh, teaching Bahamut Null Frost, but it turns out I don't have enough. I think it requires like Antarctic Winds. Which I did have one of, but I think I wasted it on something. Ah well. I'll probably be able to get some in the next area. So we're gonna start out with Bahamut for Firaga. Uh, the next area has quite a bit, uh, quite a few kind of like ice enemies. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll. Well then, I guess if I kill her, it does. It's not gonna matter. But yeah, let's go start off with a Firaga. This should deal a lot of damage. Oh yeah, almost 4,000. I'll definitely take that. Good old Bahamut. He is really powerful, so... Yeah. Always an advantage. Shiva? Oh. That is like dealing no damage. I'll take another Firaga. I should be able to kill her. It's doing more and more. Oh yeah, there she goes. Oh, that's clever. Now that is clever. So she does actually know how to... Let's see what an attack does. Oh shit, shouldn't have done that. She's gonna heal again, isn't she? Okay, good, 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 good. I'd rather not have her heal, cause that would be bad news. I don't know what I was thinking. I could hit Shiva. She has really, really high accuracy. Oh, there we go, Mega Flare. And if Bahamut does die, I'll just go ahead and use Ifrit. Here, basically, what I'm trying to do is out-damage her. Which is working out so far, because she's not doing that much damage to me. 13. That's the kind of numbers I like to see. And she's dead. Alright, good. That wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. And I think Belgamim's version of Bahamut just does the charge-up thing. Stop. Yeah, looking fucking badass. Love Bahamut so much. This game probably has the best Bahamut in all of the Final Fantasies. There we go, 60 Mega Potions. Ridiculous. Especially uh, a bit later we're gonna get an item for... Or it's an equipment, piece of equipment for Riku called... I don't know what it's called, but it has an ability called... Um, fuck, what is it called? Basically, alchemy, alchemy, that's it. It doubles the effectiveness of your items. So basically, Mega Potions will heal everyone for 4,000 HP. Okay. There's her Bahamut. I think I'll go with Ixion at first, or Shiva. I'm gonna see which one has a higher overdrive meter. But uh, yeah, I think this Bahamut just does the charge up thing, maybe. Okay, she. Yeah, we can start off with Ixion. He does have the most um, overdrive. Plus, we don't. I don't usually use Ixion that often. So we're just gonna attack. Oh, he counters. He counters. That's not good. Which one is gonna? Okay, we're gonna use Black Magic, Thundara, see what that does, but it's gonna counter this. Okay, good, we're gonna have to be careful here, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, he just does the countdown, but he also counterattacks. Alright, this might get me killed, but at least he's gonna deal plenty of damage to him. He's gonna get like three turns. Yeah, 9999. Please don't attack anymore. Four. 
He's gonna get down to two, I think. Yeah, okay, so... Do I have a chance to heal? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna heal and... Use shield quickly. And we'll see if we can survive this. Okay. Let's see what this does. Probably not gonna do too much. Yeah, this shows the whole animation. It doesn't matter. This is a cool attack. I don't really mind seeing the whole overdrive as much as the whole summoning thing. That can get a little old. Because the summoning sequences are kind of lengthy. I love how Ixion just flies up there. It's such an, like an awkward animation. Oh, wow, that was better than expected. I'm gonna keep using Thundara. Because it's working, so why not use it? This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it does hurt. Basically, I think we're just charging up our overdrive meters. That's all we're doing. I'm gonna save my MP from now on and just attack. Because, yeah, I don't want to use all the special abilities like, oh shit, oh he uses impulse, this is gonna deal a lot of damage, ouch, wonder if Thor's hammer is gonna, it is kind of risky because if he, wait what, how did he get two turns, he should still be down to, I think we're, sh we're gonna be fine, if it, if it kills him, then even better. Which, it probably should kill him. He is getting into that weakened state. Oh no, it's not. As long as he doesn't attack, I will be able to heal. Oh shit, but this is not good. Because I'm not going to be able to... Can we survive this? Dealt like... Dealt like 649, so I should be able to just barely survive survive it well we're gonna see even if I die this guy is finished so it doesn't matter but if we do survive that would be really cool come on Ixion you can do it <laughs> that is hilarious please no 680 oh well he would have killed me anyways if I healed myself too. I would have dealt that like ridiculous damage. Anyways, I think we can finish this off with probably Shiva. Good old Shiva. Okay, let's end this. Guess I can go for Heavenly Strike. Yes, I can. Although it's not going to delay Bahamut. It does deal plenty of damage. Just please die. Oh shit. Now you're finished. If this still doesn't kill him, that's going to be bad. But it should. Yeah, you're finished. These are surprisingly easy. But I think I had the exact same reaction the last time I fought Bagomi. It seems like when you fight her on the road, like, during the main story, she's a lot more difficult. Maybe just you're stronger here. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of that. She does have more Aeons, three more Aeons. And we get the Flower Scepter, which we are gonna need. Basically to access this Aeon right here. If you, so you, if you want to access this Aeon here... Um, you basically need three things. I think you need a flower scepter, which we just got. You need the blossom crown, which we are gonna, or I'm, I'm gonna get. And you get the blossom crown by capturing every single monster here in the calm lands. And I think the third thing you need is to beat her, all her other aeons, which means you need to have all the other aeons. So let's get out of Remium Temple here. And there's that bottom part too where you can race chocobos, but I never do that. I think you need to you need it to get one of the um, items you need to charge up the ultimate weapons. I don't really care. This is, I mean, I'm doing some of the side quests, but not all of them. 
I think I mentioned this at the start of this LP. I'm not a huge fan of the Monster Arena and Dark Aeon stuff. Yeah, just not a fan. So there is really no reason for me to uh, charge up my ultimate weapons. If you do that, the only thing that happens is the final boss becomes basically trivial because... Uh, well, the final bosses become trivial. So I think it's a lot more fun to actually have some challenge in the game and do this the normal way. Okay, basically for now we can head out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the end of this area. Maybe I should have saved back at the end, but I think we're gonna get a chance to save again. Only thing is, we're gonna check how much gil I have. I might, there might come a point where I will m probably need to grind for some gil. We're gonna see, or I'm gonna see how it goes. But yeah, I think that's gonna come only later. Yes, there is a save point here. Good, we want to save because there is going to be a boss right here, which I don't remember this boss being too difficult, but you never know. Nothing has killed me yet, I think, in the main story, so I guess that means I'm doing well. Halt. Oh shit, it's these guys. We've seen these guys before. They were with Seymour. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. Don't think that's going to happen. To discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. <laughs> Lord Seymour is love how, love how he says that. You will come. Trying to sound I badass. But Maester doesn't need you alive. Where the hell did you get that thing from? It's a giant robot, basically. We have to fight a giant robot. And this is called Defender X or something like that. Not the most difficult boss. Mainly, there is a way to cheat him. Wait, ah, uh, this is not the best party to start with because these guys are slow. Anyways, first things first, we're gonna use Dark Buster with Waka because Dark Attack is not gonna work on this guy, but Dark Buster does. Now, as you can probably guess, this guy hits really hard. Like, really, really hard. Um, let's see, gonna use power break, since Kimari has power break, we can just go ahead and use it. Oh, he's immune. He is not immune to one of the breaks, I think. Yeah, as you can see, he counters uh, with everything, I think. Yeah, he's weak to armor break and mental break, which are both gonna be used on him. This blast punch, don't worry about it, it's like, it kind of works like Demi. It only takes like a percent of a character's HP. Ouch. That hurt more than expected. Okay, Kimari, you're gonna use Phoenix Down. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Riku in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Smoke Grenade, which should have the same effect as... Or Smoke Bomb, which should have the same effect as... A Dark Buster. Did it not? Yeah, it did work. Okay, good. Okay, what else do we need? Waka, you've done your part, basically. Let's get Titus in here and use Hastiga. I think this is basically gonna be my party. I think you might be able to slow this monster down. We'll see. Yeah, let's use Hastiga. Riku. Hmm. It's still blinded, isn't it? Kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna use Mog. Lunar Curtains, pretty good. And the other thing we need here is Mental Break. Mental Break basically lowers... Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. It lowers magic defense. I'll switch out for Yuna for one turn just so that she can do something. You can. This is also a fight where Protect is kind of useful. But only against his normal physical attacks. Alright, Tidus. I'm gonna show how to cheese this boss. Basically, if you use Provoke on him, Provoke does actually work. And all he's gonna do is he's just gonna keep attacking Tidus with Blast Punch. Which, because it only takes like a percentage of his HP, is never actually gonna kill him. So, yeah, that's how. If you wanna cheese this boss, that's how you do it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get Lulu in here too. Guess we'll use Water Guy, it doesn't matter. I think, uh, despite being a Machina, he isn't like weak to lightning. I expected a bit more damage. So, you know what? I'll just use Provoke. It is a safe tactic, it works. But it is kind of cheesy. Apparently, it misses too sometimes. Uh, yeah, orange just stack. Okay, that's gonna. Yeah, as you can see, um, it will not actually kill me. Blast punch, I mean. Does slow work on him. No, he's immune. Thought so. Anyways, Lulu. Lulu is not going to be that much help. I might just use Riku's Overdrive, which... Hmm, what should I mix? That's the thing. What happens if I... I might be able to get Mighty Guard, but you know what? I will use a Smoke Bomb and level 1 Key Sphere. I have no idea what this is going to do. Calamity Bomb. It deals a lot of damage, and I'm happy about that. Let's try Provoke again. It probably... The reason it's missing is because Provoke lasts for a couple of turns. Maybe you only need to do it. I don't exactly know how Provoke works because I rarely use it. Luckily, Riku has plenty of shit that we can throw at this guy. Hmm. Dragon skills... Don't know. Let's use a bomb core. Just experimenting here. As long as you're dealing damage, that was less than impressive. How about Kimari? How much he can he do? Oh, he actually does pretty good damage. I'll haste up Kimari. The only thing is, has everyone gone? I think... Yes. Holy shit, Oren. Yeah, this is like the cheesiest boss fight ever. Nacho and cheese. All right, might as well attack. Why not? Didas is doing pretty well too. Yeah, keep using that. Eventually, it's just gonna get you down to one HP, and then I think it's gonna do nothing. Okay, this guy is down for pretty much. I could have summoned an Aeon to overkill it. Whatever. Actually, Oren might be able to do it, so... I guess we'll find out. Well, Waka does have his overdrive. Which might be enough. Well, you're dead anyways. If I cannot overkill it, whatever. Good. At least I got it correctly. Which rarely happens, believe me. I'm really bad at the slots. Yes. Waka, you rock. And you actually did something for a change, which doesn't normally happen. Good AP. Level 2 key spheres, which is always useful. Okay, let's head back to the save point and actually save. If I can... Yeah, good. There we go. And... I'm just gonna show you in a second... But I want to save. Down here, in this little... Wait, it's not here, is it? Where is that place exactly? I, always, I always forget. Oh, it's at this bridge. Yeah, there it is. Was there something here? Oh, I thought this was like an NPC. It's not. Anyways, down here is kind of an important side area. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? We do want to go here. Um, because one of the optional Aeons I was talking about is down here. One of the best looking Aeons in the game. Or one of the coolest Aeons, in my opinion. We're gonna just come down here and probably make some progress into this area. We'll see. There are a couple of MP. There's a save point here, too. You know what? I'm just gonna save over this. If I've known that, I could have just come down here, but it's been a while, you know. Let's talk to this guy right here. 
There was an NPC. Oh, there he is. And apparently there are random encounters here. New enemies, we'll too. These guys, we fought them before. I think... Let's see if Dark Buster works. Yeah, these guys can poison, which is pretty bad. But I expected more in terms of their physical attacks. Goodbye. What do they have to steal? I think they only have high potion to steal. Yeah, high potions. Okay, what else do we want to do? Kimari, you can... You can try stealing again. I mean, a high potion is always handy. Oh, and you're poisoned, which does give a chance for Yuna to at least do something. Don't want to kill him just yet because Riku's gone, Titus is gone, Waka's gone. Let's use, actually, reuse Waterga. What did she say? Let's see. Uh, let's see you under pressure or something. Okay, let's get Oren back in here to finish this off. Almost. Can only finish them off with a critical. That hurts. But I can actually show off a Ronsa Rage, which rarely happens. This is a fire breath. That is shitty damage. Well, yeah, farewell. Best way to put it. I think everyone's gone in that battle, hasn't? Yeah, they did. Okay. And we got a new weapon, which is interesting. You know, what is that thing? SOS Overdrive. Interesting. And one, I have magic plus. Hmm. Let's use those high potions I just got. What is this way, though? Yokun train, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's down there because I'm pretty sure that this is the cavern. Huh, weird. I guess I'll check that area out. Hey, more enemies. Okay, Kimari, we're gonna get rid of you. Well, you know what? You can use an antidote to get your turn. Let's get Riku in here and start stealing. I don't know if Mog works in terms of taking about, taking apart the robots. Oh well, doesn't matter. Well, actually, you know what? We'll get Waka in here to Darkbuster. Darkbuster the monster. That should last long enough. And does Kimari still work? It does actually, huh. I thought it only works for Riku, but I guess that's good. Titus in here. You know I'm just gonna defend with. And Lulu hasn't gone either, so... Get her to do something here. Waterga, that should be good enough. Not gonna kill it, but, you know. Oran will be able to kill him, though. I think. Enough. Yep. Thank you, Oran. what you said. Actually, before we wrap up this episode, first of all, I'm gonna get a free heal here. And, Lulu, I just want to go ahead and do this with you. Yeah, this is what we want. Dandaga, Firaga, and Bizaga. Awesome spells, of course. Very, still haven't rearranged this. Very, very powerful. So yeah, have all the level, th level 3 Elemental spheres now, or elemental spells. What's down here? Death. Death, never use death, because it works on... See, the thing about death is by the time you get it at this stage in the game, I think, like, most enemies are immune to it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I only wanted to do that with Lulu. But, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I'll, we're gonna be heading into the Cavern of the Stolen Faith in the next episode. But for now, I think this has been a pretty productive episode, so... Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy X, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.